I want to thank everybody for sitting in on uh, this installment uh, or webinar here for Interface. Um, we're going to talk about today the new face of Interface, uh, which is a new skin, a new project we were working on uh, for the last couple of months. All of it geared uh, to begin to better support uh, the enhancements to our product. Um, as many of you guys know, uh, Interface at its core is a form builder, uh, but what we do because we focus heavily on the construction and field services or um, a lot of custom applications and new ideas for, for products and features come out. Well, many of those need a little bit more horsepower, uh, and they need the, the system to kind of you know move quicker and easier. Um, so what we've done is we've created kind of a, a lighter version of Interface, which allows us to support uh, a little bit heavier applications with heavier functionality. Um, so you can you can obviously you know continually maintain your Interface site, but uh, this is a, a new skin that we're trying to get um, uh, everybody's feedback on. Uh, uh, this is definitely a, a work in process. Um, so as we continue to enhance this and, and, and show you kind of the new look and feel to it, uh, you know, obviously y'all can definitely convert to the new system uh, if you happen to like it better or want to try it out uh, because it does, it is designed to uh, to run uh, much faster. Um, the uh, the HTML code or what makes the application pretty uh, is heavy. Um, that's what you see here. There's a lot of th uh, three-dimensional uh, views and shadowing that make the application uh, require a little bit more bandwidth to run it. Whereas the new application is much lighter and much much thinner. Um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and log in here uh, and just to kind of show you a little preview. Uh, but this is um, kind of the first pass uh, here uh, of the new application. Uh, it's still uh, maintains uh, the ability to uh, shrink to fit whatever device it's on uh, so you still you don't lose any of that functionality here um, but what you do gain uh, in the is the ability to navigate through forms at a much quicker speed so there's very little downtime uh, for bouncing between forms or bouncing between categories within a form <clears throat> so what we see here I've got a little example form so we can begin kind of testing out and showing you some of the new features <clears throat> but this is actually uh, kind of the new face of interface so you see this is a, a job report uh, this uh, form actually scrolls much like a normal form and the categories on the left keep up with where you are in your form uh, and it'll kind of hyperlink you back to the top where you're when you want to navigate to certain categories but it does kind of navigate you appreciate on like a pad device or a tablet device uh, you can quickly navigate th through the form uh, in this manner rather than having it uh, jumped from category to category now this helps with the speed of filling out the form uh, but what also is neat is that when we when we want to duplicate categories because many many times like a daily report for this example requires duplication um, <clears throat> I can now instead of creating a duplicate underneath uh, underneath the form like the old skin this is a new uh, app, uh, application that allows us to um, glean tabs that kind of go left to right. So for this example, I'll show you if I'm uh, tracking this Northwest Concrete vendor and this is a new little button tab for us. Uh, let's just say they had eight people on the job and they were doing, uh, you know, uh, the uh, ex exterior uh, walkway. <clears throat> when I duplicate, instead of it bouncing back underneath where I was on the form, it actually creates a, a, a tab and then a new tab out to the side. So if I say, okay, this is A1, A1 Electric, and you know they were they had five people, and that's a that's actually a little button. We're going to remove those decimals, uh, and they were doing another activity. I can duplicate here, and now when I have these tabs here on my screen. I can bounce back and forth and update any information tab by tab. So you see that the performance is almost instantaneous when it comes to navigating through. So now you appreciate the form stays the same length, although I do have duplicate categories all throughout. So these little features are things that we've put into the program to make it run a lot faster, a lot smoother, especially um, <clears throat> when we when it comes to actually using the device, uh, the mobile devices that might be running on 3G or 4G rather than a, a solid connection. This is actually designed to run much faster. 
We also rewrote the mobile application for iPad and Android uh, to mimic this same functionality with the with the white screen, the green text, the gray shading, <clears throat> all that to offer the same continuity whether you're filling it out on an untethered mobile app downloaded through the you know, Apple iTunes or Google Play Store or if you fill it out through the web app which is where you can just run it through general safari or uh or um google chrome or, or however you want to access the internet so this just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea about what uh what the skin looks like um, what we're really trying to do here is get some good feedback we're going to be posting obviously this video you're actually watching the recording now up online but we definitely want you to kind of take a look at it give us your feedback uh, if you'd like to kind of try this out if you say hey let you know you know what we really like this skin or maybe we had issues with uh you know we didn't really like maybe the look and feel of the other application you want to give this a run <clears throat> you can definitely do that between, over the first quarter, we're going to be actually uh, offering out alpha and beta testers, um, uh, and so we can uh, offer you some, we offer you some some discounted rates on on uh, on apps if, and uh, and services if you wanted to partake in that for being our alpha and beta tester. <laughs> um, but we're definitely looking for good constructive feedback uh, and and some uh, some good criticism because we really believe that this newer skin is going to help the performance of the product, the acceptance of the product, and also because it looks more like a form and it's, it's a little bit more simple to use versus where the other application looked a little bit more mobile oriented. We believe that we're going to get more acceptance with its usability as a portal because this way we can roll out the you know things to subcontractors like subcontract pay applications or prequal forms and things like that that maybe look a little bit more like a portal rather than kind of a mobile app view. So although they still the questions and answers still go up and down, you give the actual the subcontractor or the external user the ability to kind of navigate through here like a normal piece of paper. Um, so these are the things that we've been working on here at Interface, uh, all designed to uh, continually progress the product and move it forward because we do believe in this one single application concept. Uh, the customers that, that are using it and are beginning to expand it into other areas of the company for other features have really had some great success. So we want to make sure that we meet uh, them there as they begin to expand the application, that we make sure that the product is always delivering newer and newer features. Now, <clears throat> this is a little bit on the form aspect of it. So, uh, so we've got just different dialog boxes here uh, in regards to question types and answer types. One major benefit, if you're going to use this as a mobile device, is that if if you were using it as a web service, you had to use a third party uh, picture program that allowed us to upload a, a picture to the actual website because the website was not able to call the camera directly like the no normal standard interface app. That now goes away. So now from within the web form itself, you can actually call the camera on the device and we eliminate that third party from having to be downloaded along with it. So that's another really big advantage here on, on the new skin is we do have the ability to eliminate that and from the actually from the website call the actual device camera uh, to be able to document uh, pictures here on the screen. Now, that's a little bit about the form and kind of shows you a little bit of the preview there um, for what it looks like. Now, if I go into my newest app is my Documents app. This is another <coughs> enhancement. You appreciate on the old skin, we had just released Documents here, uh, and, it, and it looks really cool, and, and by all means, you can continue using it. Um, <clears throat> but this is kind of the folder structure here where you can kind of drill in and get to what you're looking for uh, from this type of navigational pan or, or pane here. So if I want to go into my daily reports, you know, I can see these things, which this is a really good application to use. But you can kind of sometimes get lost a little bit in the tree of the folder structure. So with the new application, it's a little cleaner and you're actually going to be able to see the entire folder tree in here. We're also offering the ability to, to remove the icons and actually have a list. Uh, so if you're a little bit there's more aggressive users that want to use the documents for more enterprise content management. Uh, we'll have the ability to uh, to be able to kind of navigate through the folder structure here and display what's in the folders alongside uh, and then be able to download and view those documents from the mobile device itself. Uh, you can also sort, resort, and reorder. Um, the dialog bo uh, buttons are a little bit different when you click on them. Um, there you go. <laughs> so the dialog boxes are a little bit different. You can email, you can share, you can rename, and you can also move the, the different um, 
forms around into different folders uh, if need be. So these are some of the, the, the new little enhancements as well, but again, it's a much faster uh, interaction with the device. Uh, it's virtually instantaneous when you're touching this on a phone or from a desktop computer. Now, <clears throat> one of the last things I'll show you uh, as well is the uh, payroll time app because we definitely, oops, sorry about that. Maybe two or three weeks ago, we did kind of a demo on this payroll application. Everything stays the same. We cleaned up a little bit, uh, just some of the look and feel of it. And obviously, this is still a work in process. But <clears throat> if I come in here to my weekly timesheet and want to go and find one, appreciate just a much cleaner interaction. Um, and also, too, um, it scrolls a little bit easier. Um, but all the, the same look and feel is still here. Um, all the same functionality. Um, so this is just another view. If you like that payroll time app, uh, this is kind of the new look and feel for it. Again, here, payroll and materials and notes. So we're real, real excited about this. <clears throat> it doesn't change too, too much of, you know, obviously the look and the feel and, and how the, the, inter the users interact with the application. But the biggest advantage is the code, the code count, whereas like, let's just say there was a hundred lines of code to load one of these screens here <clears throat> that was actually cut down into a fourth uh, so you're talking about four times faster to, to load and bounce and navigate and pan between documents and for the field user the usability having that instant reaction whenever I hit the button that's one of the biggest advantages that we can offer the client and offer the end users that ability to as soon as they go and they hit that button they get some activity out of it and it launches them to where they want to go so <clears throat> this is our uh, the the new face of interface uh, we're real real excited about it again this is this has been about a two month project already we've got another three months until we actually really launch it out um, <clears throat> you guys are, are, are newer uh, to the application newer clients um, one of our long-term visions is always to have kind of an upper tier product called interface one um, that was all that was going to house more uh, employee onboarding and, and some of these larger uh, applications that we've written for some of the larger uh, contractors and oil and gas outfits in the country um, to have a platform to where we can deliver that back out uh, at low cost applications. Um, so we really believe that Interface One is going that this is going to be probably the face of that long term. Uh, but, but with you guys being some of the for, uh, forerunners and some of the uh, the uh, early adopters of this application, this is offered to you just as part of your standard pricing. So there's not any additional charge for this uh, um, in, in regards to if you wanted to upgrade to the to, to this system, it's much quicker. Um, so <clears throat> just keep that in mind. That's a, that's something that we want to do for you guys, uh, just because we do value um, all your feedback and, and being and, and trusting us for your mobile initiatives. Uh, we're very very excited about the future of where we're headed. The last thing I'll show you here, uh, this little E icon is not just for show. We actually built in uh, a little uh, page into here that actually launches into the E dashboard. Um, and so this is a, another resource uh, that we have available from within the application that uh, you can come in here and download the manual. Uh, we have our training uh, tutorials that are going to be coming out in the first quarter as well. So you can literally uh, launch into here and get training if you're an admin user uh, or, or a standard Standard user, you can download the manual or the new customer guide on what to expect. Um, but this is also where you can come in and submit help desk questions. So directly from the E, uh, you can come in here and then submit this as well. Also, you can come in and explore all the different apps that we're going to be rolling out here uh, in 2015 as well. So if you ever want to see what's new with Interface, you can just hit that E uh, and it will launch you directly into the, um, that application. So we're very, very excited about um, what we're doing here uh, with Interface and the direction that we're going. Uh, definitely would encourage uh, you all to consider um, uh, maybe sitting down with us and, and letting us walk you through specifically uh, the new skin. And, and maybe if you wanted to kind of play around with it a little bit, test out some of your forms, we can definitely set that up with you. Um, if, if you already are using Interface and you're considering rolling this out to the field users, we definitely would encourage getting those field users in to kind of test out the new skin and, and seeing what they think. We definitely value that opinion. Um, it is very fluid in, in regards to how we're developing the application. Uh, so we definitely... Uh, 
uh, will, will take all of the critiques to, to heart and make those changes that need to be made. Um, but uh, we definitely uh, want to build this with our team and uh, and with our, our customer base that have helped us get to this point. So uh, definitely, uh, if you have any uh, further uh, questions or information, uh, please contact us. You can go to One App for All uh, and find us there. Submit through Help Desk, uh, or you can contact us. Contact us directly at info at interfacing.com. So that's all I have for everybody today. Uh, sorry that you weren't able to see the live version, but hopefully you saw enough in here uh, that we were able to kind of run through so you could see uh, the new application.